in this video, we're going to look at BFD vintage recording techniques. So right here, you can see the vintage recording technique expansion pack for BFD3. First, we'll take a little bit of an overview here, an overview look at it just to see what is included. You can see that uh, they're using vintage recording techniques, you know, vintage recording microphone positions and whatnot to capture a beautiful Ludwig classic maple drum kit. All right, you can see the highlights. Over here, we have 29 microphone channels, which is just insane. We have real drum bleed. There are five vintage recording techniques with infinite uh, mixing possibilities. You know, these techniques have been used on some of the uh, uh, most popular, most classic uh, albums uh, ever, you know, ever released. Uh, each kit piece played with sticks presented in a natural version, of course, perfect for vintage modern rock, um, you know, funk, country, and blues, and of course, anything else uh, you know, that, that you want. All right, there's your system requirements. Here's a little bit more about it, including the recording techniques right here. And of course, we also have direct microphones were expertly placed on all kit pieces. All right, so we have a wide range of mixing possibilities right there. And then a little bit of an explanation of some of these uh, techniques here, ORTF technique. And uh, you can see right here, we have two large diaphragms so for a nice wide sound there. Then we have the uh, Blumion technique. So two ribbon microphones, the uh, Glenn Johns technique, and so on and so forth. You see you have about a 16.7 gig disk space requirement. Okay, that's pretty much all you need to see right here. Let's go ahead and move on. You can see whenever you download it, this is what you're going to download. I'm on Windows, so it's five parts total. That's about 14.2 gigs on the download. And once you get it installed right here, you can see that it's about 16.7 gigs. You can see everything in here. All right, there we go. So I already have BFD3 open right here, and I already have a kit loaded up here. So before we go through and we look at all of the individual drums and hear all of the individual drums in isolation, I want to look here at all of these microphone channels. Watch this, I'll spread this out here just by clicking that little uh, triangle right there. And you can look at these. Look at all these microphone channels, look at this. Sub mic reverb, mono room, sidekick, mo uh, mono drummer there, ribbon, and then our Glenn Johns, uh, or TF room, ambient three there. Very cool, and of course you can always just slide down here. You can sort of see the positioning, very cool. You can see all of the all of the microphone channels there. And of course, as hopefully you know in BFD3, just take take a floor tom here. I can of course come here. We have the uh, floor tom selected, of course, and I can you know adjust the mix of our ambient mics there for each floor tom. Just turn off the rest of these. You can see right there. And you can see we're also getting bleed in here. So if I just solo the just, just that, right? Now let me go through and solo some more of these toms here, just so I can, you can see the bleed coming through there, which can make for a very natural, you know, natural sound. Very cool. So again, the real power of this expansion pack is all of our microphone channels that we have. And you can, of course, adjust them, you know, however you want, uh, you know, per each kit piece. And of course, for the, uh, you know, entire mix there. So if I don't want so much sub mic coming through reverb on just this Tom, I can, of course, adjust those levels, however I want, even turn them, you know, turn them on and off and get just the mix that I want. So I'll just hit play here. All right. Let's just go through these mic channels here, just so we can sort of understand, you know, what, exactly what we have here. So, so ambient three. Of course, you can adjust our volume here overall. Here's our room. The ORTF. Here's our uh, Glenn Johns. Uh, this is the hi-hat. You can see it's, this, this is already panned. So let's go ahead and turn on the other one. That's a pretty good mix right there. You know, uh, we may just want uh, just these two mic channels going through and we can adjust our mix however we want. So 
our ribbon. Mono. Got another mono right here, which if you wanted to, turn those both on and we could pan those wide if we wanted to. Very cool. It's our side kit. Even has a reverb channel. So you can really pull that in without having to uh, you know, go up to an effects and put an effects in for a reverb. We already have a reverb channel, which is really nice. Very cool. So our sub mic. Then our overheads. Very cool. So again, the real possibilities, the, the real mixing possibilities of this kit come into all of these different mic channels uh, that we can mix with here, that we can adjust, pan, change the volume, uh, and of course change you know, the overall sin level or the overall volume uh, of, of each kit piece as well. And we haven't even gotten to all of the channels for each piece, you know? So our snare, for example, you see all of the different microphones there. You can of course adjust that however you want as well. Very cool. And if we look here on our kick, and then we'll just solo the snare. You can see we're getting bleed between these channels. You can hear the uh, kick in there. We're getting the course of the snare bleed in the kick channel. So we can always turn that off if we want. Okay, so just to keep all of that stuff in mind whenever you uh, purchase the uh, Vintage Recording Techniques uh, expansion pack. Lots of options in here, okay? Be sure to use those triangles to fold this out and really dig in there to your mix. And we haven't even gotten into, you, know, you could, of course, add effects to any of these, you know, separate channels that you want as well. And of course, you know, applying effects directly to our direct channels. All right, so that explains. A lot of a lot about the miking there. Again, like I say, solo our mid tom there, and I'm hitting the high tom. We're getting real tom bleed through that, so that can be a much more natural sound. And we'll just go to our ambient mix, put a solo on that. You know, all of our microphones, of course, make a huge difference. So maybe I don't want so much overhead or sub mic or reverb. This, of course, would be the overall mix here. I'm not doing it over here in our ambient mics, which in the, uh, you know, send levels, which of course you can do that as well, but just to show it a little more starkly here. All right, very cool. All right, so what do you say we go ahead and move on and we'll go ahead and demo all of these kit pieces in isolation. Okay, so first I'll come up here to kits. Use our filter here, vintage recording techniques. You can see you have five kits there, total of five uh, full kits. Come over to, actually just go back to presets here and filter down to just the presets. So the full uh, presets there, you see we have, what was it, 16, I believe? Yeah, 16 presets, then the, just five kits. And then we'll go ahead and let's check out all of the different drums. So we'll come here to vintage recording techniques. Let me take that snare off of there and you can see everything that we have right there total of 15 pieces recorded in immaculate detail, you know, as you already saw with all of those mic channels. So again, I want to show you those mic channels first. So whenever we, whenever we, uh, I demo each of these uh, kit pieces, realize it can sound different in the full mix. And, and of course we'll have later on in the video, we'll have you know, a, a full sort of a, a demo of, of a lot of the different uh, drum sounds, uh, specifically the presets. All right, so I'll go ahead and turn on our kick filter. So here's our kick. Let's just hear that right now. Let's put this over here, of course. Here's our Ludwig Super Classic Kick. There's our dimensions. Of course, this is a maple beater's felt. Go ahead and do the hit. Very nice. So just the one kick right there. What do you say we go into our snares? You see one, two, three, 
four snares. Of course, snare on, snare off, and snare off, and snare on. So we'll go with the snare off. So we have a drag. Half edge. Hit. Rim. Start click. Of course, our side stick. And that was the snare off. So our Ludwig 400 snare on. Our drag. Half edge. Hit. Rim. The rim click. Side stick. Very cool. So our Ludwig Jazz Festival snare. This is with these snares off. That's our drag. Half edge. Our hit. The rim. Rim click. And the side stick. So a lot of different art articulations on all of these. Then to our Jazz Festival snare with the snares on, our drag. It's our half edge. Our hit. Rim. It's a loud one. Rim click. And the side stick. Very cool. And that's the dimensions, 14, uh, 5.5 .5 there. Stick, total of one gig in size, so you know, highly detailed samples. Let's move on to the hi-hat. Lots of articulations on on our hi-hat here. We're closed. Half. Open. Push your pedal. You have quarter. A splash and that's three quarters let's go to our toms four toms we'll just go over here four different toms total so this is our floor tom here so super classic floor tom one hit very nice rim now rim click and the super classic floor tom too. It's our rim, rim click. All right, we want to the mid toms. Here's our super classic mid tom. It's our hit. If you hear any clicks or pops, it's just you know the computer because I have to record the screen here as well. These samples. Won't have any clicks or anything like that in them. So rim and rim click. Hi Tom. It's our hit. Here's our rim. Rim click. So if I put that on solo. Then you're just going to get obviously our direct. All right. So, just in case you want to hear all those, we'll come to this channel here and we'll go take the tom off of there and just go do straight up all the toms. And we can do those in isolation. If you want to hear those, let's center this out. It's our hit, the rim, the rim click, and then the uh, floor tom two, our hit. This is in isolation, of course. And the rim, it's the rim click, and then the high tom. Let me center this out again. And then the rim, the rim click. All right, and onto the mid tom, again in isolation. We already heard it with the uh, ambient mics and all of the bleed, very nice. And just in case you wanna hear our kick in complete isolation, so again, as you can tell, all of our uh, microphones are on there, so if I just hit solo on that, so a much different sound, obviously. Okay, 
Now, same thing, we can do the same thing for the uh, snare here. So snare off, we'll, we'll just do like hit. Again, remember, uh, now mics are on. So now we just have an isolation or direct. All right, so much different onto the uh, snare on. Again, now all of our uh, ambient mics are uh, going to be, we'll be hearing those. That's the hit. Now, again, just the direct. Okay. And then the festival snare hit. Again, just to remind you what it sounded like with all the mics. And then in just the uh, direct. All right. And the snare on of our jazz festival snare. Again, just a reminder. And then just solo it out. So that is the kick and the snare with just the direct mics as well. Let's move on to our cymbals. We'll just go to all five cymbals there. Put it over here. We'll center this out. And let me pull that crash off there. Okay. We could, uh, you know, solo this out if you want, or we could just hear it with all of the microphones. Just want you to keep that in mind, okay? So, on to the bell of our Custom Crash 19. Bow. And the edge. Of course, keep in mind you have many, many, many velocity layers there. So then our Custom Ride 22. It's the bell. Bow and the edge. Very nice. K okay, China Boy 19. Very nice. Onto the edge. Nice symbol. K okay, splash 12. It's our bell. The bow. And the edge. We already heard our uh, Beats hi-hat there. Let me turn our cymbal thing back on. I believe we've heard all of those already. Very good. So there's your five different uh, cymbals. Then percussion, we don't have any percussion there. Okay. So right there is all of the kit pieces, which we went through uh, and heard in isolation. So now we'll go ahead and move on. I'll go ahead and start loading up some presets here, uh, throw in some grooves and uh, whatnot, and we'll hear how each of these different presets sound. Of course, I probably won't go through all of them because there are 16. Just the main thing I want you to keep in mind. See, that sounds really, really good. Uh, I don't think we, yeah. There's some effects on these presets, of course. So I want you to keep in mind that effects will be on now. Effects were not on previously, so we will have some effects that are included in these presets. And the main thing you really need to take away from this is you can come in here, of course, you can see how they have already mixed our uh, our microphone, uh, all of our different microphone channels to get you know a distinct sound from having everything pulled in, you know, hearing every single microphone. So keep in mind, you really use this, uh, this pop out here of, of your ambient mix to come in here and really mix this, uh, this expansion pack because that, there's some real power in here and of course mixing all of your uh, individual kit pieces as well which you can come in here and uh, adjust your overall sin levels for each kit piece all right so i'll go ahead and start loading up some grooves here and we'll hear how many of these different presets sound and we'll hear all of the drums together once again keep in mind that you can always come in here and adjust your mix with all of these different microphones all of our different microphone channels you can come in here to say your snare and adjust the microphone channels within the snare because there are of course uh, you know several microphones on the snare several microphones on the kick then of course don't forget all of the other uh you know mixing options that we have here in bfd3 i mean we have so many different mixing options here from from your tech and your model tab right here all right, so keep all that stuff in mind. And we'll go ahead and hear some of the presets from BFD Vintage Recording Techniques.
That is BFD Vintage Recording Techniques and Expansion Pack for BFD3 to hear many more samples, including fully mixed samples included with other instruments that include guitar, bass, so on and so forth. You can always head over to fxpansion.com and hear more samples from Vintage Recording Techniques. But you can also learn more about BFD Vintage Recording Techniques by heading over to fxpansion.com.